Right, today we're going to look at doing some gas lines roads. I've got a piece of cork board here. I'm going to split it up into four sections so I can see what different effects I get. So first of all, I'll divide my sheet up into four equal parts. And then it needs to be rough. It doesn't have to be exact because I'm really, really just testing this out. First of all, I just want to make some general marks and some cracks on the board. So I'm going to use these little tools I've got here. And I'll just start doing some cracks. Let's try this one. Let's get some of the glue. So I'll let that dry and I'll start giving it the coats and you can see what it looks like. Right, so here we are. I've got all the pieces glued down. Let me show you that. Nice kind of rough surface. Like I say, just testing, but it's looking all right. Then I'm going to do four, like I said, four different tests. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray it, prime it with Chaos Black. Just a quick black primer on that one I'm gonna dry brush it the next one I've got some stuff here which me and my son made which is just grey paint and sand um, I've then got this hammerite metal paint which gives it that kind of stippled effect like tarmac so I'm interested to see how that will look on the surface and I've got textured sand as well so I'm gonna see what that looks like because that might look like look nice for like a sand covered desert road we'll we'll see how that comes out so I'm gonna go and um, I'm gonna spray each part uh, in sequence so uh, yeah I'll get that done and I'll, and I'll come back thanks Everything has been primed now. This is just the black primer. This one is the texture paint. This one is the uh, spray can metallic. And this one is the sand. All right then, so let's give this a dry brush. We've got a couple of different colors. This is the first one, granite dust. And the other one is called City Break. So I'll do the darker one first. A little bit of cardboard, because you'll find that the cardboard soaks the painting. Absolutely tiny amount of my brush for this. So let's start with this one. I'll add a black wash over everything to bring it all together and also some quick yellow lines just for context. Here are some close-ups of the finished version, badly painted yellow lines for speed included. Here's the primed version. This is the paint and sand surface. This is the hammerite metal spray. And this is the sand texture spray. So thanks very much for watching. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, it was good to experiment with all these different kind of texture paints and finishes and stuff. Um, I think the next thing for me is to get some thicker sheets so I can make bigger craters, use more material on the surface. Um, I think I'd use the hammerite spray. And then on top of that, I'd use the spray can as well. There's the sand spray, sorry, as well. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. I'll, I'll upload that next week. Um, like I said, I hope you like it. I hope people enjoyed it and got something from watching it. And um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please just let me know. Thanks very much.